six when it comes to goals going in the net um, that versus what actually happens in real life uh, with pucks that I see going in the net um, it's very rare that you'll actually see a goal with uh, a high velocity shot hit the back of the net and actually bounce out with the momentum uh, going the opposite way of the shot obviously meaning um, it's very rare that you'll see a shot blasted in the net and fly out as almost as quickly as it goes in and I mean this is not like a big 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 deal honestly uh, it does not change it does not change the uh, the gameplay per se but it's one of those cool things that I think is a small thing that they could change that would make the game a lot more fun to play it would be a lot more satisfying to score score goals if you watch the real NHL and uh, when when players blast a puck in the net that thing flies out uh, there's no or not as much puck friction to the ice as there is in this game and so a lot of times when the puck gets blasted in in EA's game it just stays in the net it's like it hits the back of the net and it just keeps going and going and going uh, or it just takes these trajectories that don't make any sense so like in this particular goal pucks gonna go in and go around right but the thing is the, the problem I have with this is if you look that bar at the back of the net is flush against the net or the netting right so it should bounce like around here and then bounce out this way right because it's hitting this thing and it should bounce out that way or something like that maybe back on Allen or the goalie and then bounce out this way right but what's happening is it's going around and then coming back in the net like you see here right so and then it kind of like almost dies even though it bounces in the net it actually dies like the momentum dies just for no reason all right I find um, let's take another example here and see if we could find something okay this should be a very good example I remember this goal so you see that like he shoots the puck pretty hard I know it's a backhander but that thing honestly the puck should at least bounce out here because of the momentum that it hit it hit the, the 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 bottom post here i know it has padding but it's still hard right uh it should hit like that and maybe bounce out that much at the very least right um again i know this is not a big thing but it just kind of looks weird sometimes right it just dies it's like it hits like a uh other stuff in the net to make the momentum die or to absorb the momentum right there's nothing there to absorb the momentum to slow it down it should fly or glide in this case right out but it doesn't it just stays in the back of the net uh, let's see this is a good example let's see what happens here uh, and we'll use that what's this if we can get an example here a really good example to prove the point all right let's look at this all right so all right they're on a rush well oh, this is classic example this is like exactly what I mean classic 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 example here so the guy passes the puck, backhands it, and it just what is that? <laughs> it should it should bounce out. I mean I'm not saying it has to bounce back out to center ice, but I mean that thing it hits the metal, right? Hard metal. I know it has padding, but look, it just stays there. Like it's just weird to me, like how it just goes in like that right it just hits and it kind of spins on itself like to me that's not real puck physics 
Like it's just spinning there on itself in the post. I mean, I know that's an animation thing they can fix. That's not even my thing. I, I understand sometimes the puck is going to quote unquote go into material that it shouldn't, but I mean the physics should should still play a factor in how the puck behaves when it hits the back of the net. Like this hits the back of the net pretty hard. Look, it comes in with a lot of velocity and it just stays there. Like that's something EA could easily fix. I mean, just whatever whatever calculations or you know physics calculations they have, they just need to adjust it so that it bounces back out, right? So hope uh, EA watches this video and makes changes. I think it would improve the satisfaction of goal scoring a lot more. Also, there should be less ice friction on the puck in the crease area. Because if this, like this shot, for example, if this hit the back, or if this hit the backboards, it would fly, it would bounce back out. Like it normally should, like it, like it should under normal circumstances, right? Uh, so the same thing should apply to some degree in the net. If you watch some of these games, these guys blast the puck, that thing, sometimes they don't even realize it goes in because the way uh, people are shooting the pucks now and the, and the way the nets are more narrower and, you know, the little boxes they have. Uh, in the net now it bounces off the camera it flies out sometimes you don't even realize that it goes in and in EA I mean the puck sometimes you know but I will say this is the best EA game I've played um, but I just think uh, you know in, in all the games I played honestly in my personal opinion but I think they could do better with the puck physics so let me know what you think